Okay, LED tape. Uh, I've been talking on the forums a bit about LED tape, and uh, I thought I'd make a little video explaining what it is and how it works. So this is some really basic stuff. Uh, I've got a couple of different samples here I'm going to show, but this is kind of the standard, really cheap LED tape that you might order from China. Uh, the ends here, you see the two little squares there right above where it says 12 volt. There's a minus and a plus. That's where you would solder on the wires to be the leads for the tape. And you'll see there's little cut lines every, on this tape it's only every couple of inches. On different tapes it'll be different lengths. But uh, you can literally just take scissors and cut it right there and it'll be fine. If you cut it somewhere else then that might make the section not work. So uh, you can cut this stuff to whatever length you need and uh, when they manufacture it, they manufacture it in sections that are like two feet long or something like that. So there will be from the manufacturer usually little, little solid, soldered joints like this already existing or on some tape they have actual connectors at the junctions. Uh, if it has that then if there's already a soldered joint then it's going to be easier for you to solder so that's a good spot to do cuts. Um, also they call this stuff tape because it actually has adhesive tape on the back. It's not very strong though so I wouldn't trust it for anything too harsh but uh, yeah this is white color uh, as is most of the stuff that we have here. You see there's a little the LEDs themselves these things they look yellow and the reason is because it's actually a blue LED and then they put a phosphor on the outside of it that glows yellow and when it mixes up it turns white. So anytime you are looking at an LED that has actual yellow color it probably is a white LED. Uh, for comparison I've got some tape here that is yellow tape when you turn it on but you can see the LEDs themselves look clear. Uh, also here uh, I have some waterproof tape. This stuff has a silicone coating that protects the LEDs. This might be good for costuming purposes because, you know, things get wet. Uh, I also have here RGB tape. You see how there's a lot more wires and the LEDs themselves. See how there's six connections instead of just two. Uh, that means that this one LED actually has three different LEDs in it. Uh, one for red, one for green, one for blue. And uh, that all four of these pins, uh, one of them is a common and one for each color. So you could do multicolor effects with your costume and there's ways to control that as well. Um, let's see, somewhere around here, this is some, again, not water sealed tape, but this is just as wide as the RGB tape, but it's just higher wattage LEDs. So if you use this, uh, it will be really, really bright and go through batteries super fast. Uh, and yeah, this is plain old yellow tape. It's actually very skinny. So that's the yellow in my hand. Then this is about half an inch is the basic white. And then next to it, uh, maybe three quarters of an inch, five eighths, something like that, is uh, the brighter white stuff. You'll just have to look at specs when you're ordering. And I also have here one example of a different kind of LED that you can buy that sort of comes as a chain, uh, and you can act, just snip these leads wherever. Each one of these things has tape on the back. You can just take a knife and cut off the pieces. So if you just needed a small point of light. Uh, they have these as squares like we have here or single LEDs or groups of three or whatever you want. Uh, and again this is this is 12 volt stuff. You'll probably want to stick with 12 volt for costume purposes because you don't need as many batteries uh, to get up to that voltage. You'd need like eight AA batteries to get to 12 volts instead of 16. Um, and over here just for comparison I have some EL wire. This is a demo that I bought at some website. I don't remember which, but uh, I was going to try and turn some of this stuff on so that you can see the difference. And uh, let's see. 
a little bit more tape that does the waterproof stuff different. Um, one thing about the waterproof tape is if you do solder, you have to cut away the waterproofing and clean off the pads real well. Uh, otherwise, your solder will not stick. Uh, I recommend having a good knife and having a good soldering iron and having flux. Um, use plenty of flux on this stuff. Flux sort of corrodes the copper just a little bit and it makes the solder stick, stick to it. So uh, it's really, really useful and it'll make your soldering go much faster. Uh, that would also be true on this kind of thing. Let's see how, uh, let's see if you can see the thickness. Anyway, uh, so yeah, let me stop this video here and see if I can turn some of this stuff on. Uh, one other thing about the LED tape, you can only flex it one way, so you can bend it like this, no problem. But if you want to try and go sideways, no can do. EL wire does not have that problem. Okay, so I'm starting off with the EL wire turned on with the overhead lights on. And as you can see with all these fluorescent lights on we have in our shop, uh, you can't really tell that the EL wire is really doing much of anything. It is lit up, but it's not very bright. And uh, these little battery inverters here, they make a high-pitched whining noise because it has to drive this stuff by converting the DC from the batteries into really high-frequency AC. And uh, these are pretty cheap guys. I bet you if you got more expensive inverters, they wouldn't whine like that. But um, in comparison, I'm gonna start off with these uh, little LED pucks. These are really bright, so it's gonna make a pretty big difference when they turn on. Here we go, pow. Yeah, so that actually pumps out a lot of light, whereas uh, this LED, or this uh, EL wire doesn't really create very much. Although this strand seems to show up pretty decently. Anyway, uh, yeah, in comparison, from a little farther away. So if you want to have real brightness, something like this will get the job done. And uh, hold on a second while I prep up the tape. Okay, now I've got the tape going. I didn't feel like soldering, so I'm actually holding the leads <laughs> from a power supply right onto the end of the tape, which is not how you should do things. You should definitely solder or get something that has actual leads. But uh, yeah, you can see the dots of light really quick, cre really clearly from the tape, uh, and in comparison to the EL wire. Uh, so let me turn off the lights and do the same demo, so you can get a feel for what that looks like. All right, so now uh, we're in the dark, looking at the EL wire here, which shows up a lot better in the dark, versus the LED, which just blasts the light like crazy. So uh, the LED is going to be pumping out a lot more light than EL wire. And this is about the lowest wattage LED tape that you could possibly get. So uh, also I'm holding it with my finger and I've got a bad connection so it's uh, not transferring the voltage perfectly. And let me get those little pucks and uh, I just shocked myself a little. <laughs> I'm not doing this properly, but I'll get the little pucks out and just see how much light we can blast. All right, now we're talking. Here's some serious brightness versus the EL wire. I've got some of this set up just on its side here so you can see how much light it's pumping out. Uh, the EL doesn't pump anything out. It's a direct view only kind of thing. So if you were trying to illuminate something else, uh, like have the light source backlighting a piece of plastic or something like that, this stuff is not going to do a whole lot of good for you. Uh, this stuff on the other hand will be viewable in broad daylight probably and you'd still be able to see an effect. So. Uh, these guys, I think they run about a buck fifty for each square, maybe two bucks. Uh, so they're not super expensive, but they do add up if you have a lot of surface area to cover. Uh, so bear that, bear, keep that in mind. But 
yeah, that's my really haphazard LED versus EL wire video. Enjoy.